Green Monster half drunk with the Reebok power shoes in the back and again it is a green one because we don't drink calorie free monsters because we men Loving the new bar so far. Um, it definitely does feel different when squatting. Anything new feels different. Always speak to people, always speak to the athletes I work with, the people I coach online with, um, people I work with in person, is that whenever you try something new, it's going to feel weird. And uh, you need to give it time. It's like going from a high bar squat to a low bar squat, or if you're going to go from maybe conventional to sumo, or, or even just changing the form of your lift. It's going to feel weird because you're so, so used to doing it in this fashion to then make a change. It's going to feel weird to start off with, but if you persevere um, and it's go the, the change is for the better, just stick with it. And we're rolling. I'm actually very, very glad that the bar came when it did as because the bar definitely did kind of change things on my squats. Um, unfortunately, did, on, on my squats, uh, it was the end of week number four of my volume block and on that specific day it just wasn't going the the exact way I wanted it to. It actually doesn't look bad on camera at all but I felt that some of the pauses just were not uh, as long as I wanted them to be and overall just felt my, my, my technique and my squats were just a little bit sloppier than I would like them to normally be. However, again the main thing on volume blocks is that there will be some form degradation and some form breakdown due to the fatigue accumulated um, as long as you're trying to obviously always work towards better um, better technique and uh, just getting through the workload but I'm very very glad the bar came when it did as it gives me a chance to actually work with the bar and give me some time under the bar before I get to the intensity week so as you're watching this this will be the Monday um, of week number five of my volume block and uh, this will be the last week of my volume block before I go into a short intensity block. So it gives me a good week and a half to get used to the bar, feel the bar, kind of get get more accustomed to it going into my intensity block. On my bench press and my deadlifts, I actually notice uh, a, a, a immediate positive effect. I feel that I'm going to get an, an immediate positive effect without even really needing to get used to the bar as it's just going to be a lot more... Um, optimal for those movements whereas with squats I feel that it's going to take a week or so to kind of get used to the bar get used to where the bar is kind of sitting um, on my back and just that kind of stuff but again um, the whole concept of not training like a princess comes into it uh, it's better equipment I just need to get used to it on squats which I will do and which I'm very very happy about this is going to make my training a lot more sport specific and on bench and deadlifts I feel it's going to have a much more positive effect and then I've not included all of my close grip bench sets as it's pretty repetitive and not that fun to watch as it is just some accessory work and uh, yeah I mean since my last competition one of the biggest kind of focuses has been bringing up certain areas in my upper body uh, I've got um, very big legs and very very big glutes um, which obviously tend to kind of help with squats and deadlifts but I feel that my arms are pretty pathetic and I feel that my shoulders were also pretty pathetic and of course although my back isn't necessarily um, it's still pretty big and my traps are still pretty big um, having a bigger back is always going to be more beneficial for powerlifting and one of the aims has to be bringing up um, my upper body and since my actual last competition on the 19th of April the day after my last competition my arms were 15 and a quarter inches and on Saturday after deadlifting and front squatting, I measured them, so again, no arm pump because I was only deadlifting and front squatting. My arms were sitting at 16 and a half inches, so I've added an inch and a, an inch and a quarter to my arms. Um, I definitely feel that my shoulders have also got bigger, feel that my back has definitely got bigger, and I'm not really sure whether my chest has got bigger or not, as um, there's no real way to tell. Um, so yeah, so one of the main objectives has been getting bigger overall, and I definitely feel that 
that has happened and obviously that is going to be very 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 beneficial with my strength potential and actually since my last competition I have also close grip bench pressed 147 and a half kilos um, so I actually close gripped with relative ease my actual my top set on bench press at my last competition so again the bigger triceps the bigger lats and the bigger shoulders will definitely have the part to play in that so hope you've enjoyed today's video guys lots of footage coming from my last week in my volume block hope you have a good day like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll speak to all of you guys next time